So we're at Donington Park for the second round of the Jeunesse Junior Championship and uh, it's a nice -ish day at the moment, uh, it's very cold and what I've been doing from um, from past from Brands Hatch to Donington, I've been uh, testing at Thruxton which went really well, I think we were P6 and we hadn't been to Thruxton before in the uh, dry so that was quite good, although it did go a bit wet and um, now we've just had a free practice at uh, Donington which went really really well on the Thursday we were P1 and then yesterday we were uh, P5 in the dry and P2 in the wet. Craners is a, it's a, it's a good corner yeah it's, it's not too hard in one of these because obviously they're quite um, they haven't got too much power in them and quite grippy so they're, it's, it's, it's all right but yeah you, you do have to turn in blind so it is quite cool and then you've got the run down to Old Hairpin which is um, which is really fun to do as well. Yeah, I mean, you can drive as hard as you can, but without a tow in these kind of cars, it's going to be very difficult to set a really, really good lap time. And I think I will be trying to tow with my teammate, Lewis, and um, just hopefully get really good laps and um, switch over on the back straight. And hopefully we'll get, you know, the best laps we can. It's going to be like kind of wet, dry, sort of greasy. So it will be difficult, but it'll show maybe who's, who's the best and who can adapt to it. I think we just have to get the setup bang on and make sure that, that we get the perfect lap in and hopefully get a, a toe if, if possible. Yeah, qualifying wasn't wasn't great. P15 overall. The the thing is, we were really really quick in testing. P1 in, in the first practice, and then um, P2 in the wet. So we really thought it was going to be really good. We just we didn't get the setup right at the start, and because these uh, qualifying formats are so short, with only 15 minutes, you really need to get the setup bang on straight away. So I think because we were all wet for half the session, it was it was kind of pointless, and we only had seven and a half minutes just to react. And once we got that out there maybe two three laps we had to really maximize the setup that we had and unfortunately um, on my fastest lap or what was going to be my fastest lap uh, I ran a little bit wide at the final corner and there was a bumper on the exit and I uh, hit that which meant that ruined my lap and then the next one as well yeah it started off really greasy like like you said before it, it rained last night so we tried to make the wet lines and dry lines kind of count turning later and trying to square off the corner helped at the start but it was really who was the last man on the track when the track was at its best and we did utilize the setup well it, unfortunately like I said before we just um, had that incident with the other car's bumper and that just put us out of contention for qualifying yeah like I said at Brands uh, hopefully I can just uh, you know go through the pack as, as best as possible I went from 22nd to 9th at Brands so hopefully 15th, maybe top six, top five would be absolutely fantastic result for me. And then, like I said, two results, uh, sorry, two races this this day, and then um, this could really benefit us in the in the next race. And then the third race tomorrow would really help us if we had a good start there as well. Um, I'll go back with my driver coach Phil, and we'll have a look at a bit of data, a bit of video where I went wrong, where I can improve, and because it's starting to dry out now and it'll be fully dry setup. We'll have a look at the dry lines, we'll check my data from yesterday, compare it with, with the race pace as well. I'll maybe have a look at some race videos from, from last year of the guys that did it last year. Jamie, for example, who came from 20th to 4th, I think. So that would be really helpful to me, considering I'm starting quite far back as well. So I think that's what I'll just really do and then um, get my mind focused. I've got a few uh, uh, games, I'm sure you've seen it last time, where I was dropping the tennis balls, trying to catch them for my reflexes. So yeah, that's probably what I'll be doing for, for this um, gap with before race.
<laughs> so we've just done race one here at Donington Park today. The race itself was okay. Um, qualified 15th wasn't perfect, but we knew that we'd climb up the field. Uh, we had quite a good start. Hit up to 13th or 12th or something like that. So um, yeah, we we're pretty happy with that. But then, unfortunately, when the safety car came out, when they went to restart the race, I because it started to rain quite quite heavily, I just lost it on the uh, on the chicane and spun backwards into the gravel, and then lost all the positions and had to get back from 22nd back to 15th again. So not a perfect race, but you know these things happen, and we'll just have to try and not make these mistakes again. When it started to rain, I was just thinking. I just need to drive as well as I can. I just need to make sure my lines are good. I don't want to take the dry lines because obviously they'll not be quick and just making sure that I don't do any stupid moves, don't do, make any crashes or anything like that. So yeah, I was just trying to make sure that I do the best I could. So next for race two, I'll just be trying to go back through the pack from 15th. Obviously it's like, it's like the same race for me, starting 15th again. I, I just want to do as good a job as possible for myself. I, I let, my let myself down a little bit there. And I just want to prove to everyone, and, and of course myself, that I am good enough to get into the, into the much better points. For example, the top top six, maybe. We started off really well, got into I think ninth at the start from starting P15, so really really good start. It, it looked as if it was going to be a good race, you know, we were trying to get past really quick guys, and unfortunately, uh, one car spun in front of me. I hit the brakes, and the car behind me had nowhere to go, but in the back of me, and uh, that ruined the back of my bumper, the rear crash structure, and the bumper was dragging across the floor. So uh, it meant I was losing about three seconds a lap because of the uh, it was effectively as if it was a parachute, um, so it wouldn't let me go on the straight. So, yeah, not a perfect race again. Saturday hasn't been our day, but hopefully today will be. We haven't had the best start of the season, but hopefully one day our luck will just appear and um, we'll just try and do as best as we can, and hopefully that'll be today. You know, starting 14th, I just want to make sure I get as many places to start. I read something quite good on Twitter last night. It was at the start of the race, don't be an idiot, but the second half, don't be a wimp, which I thought was really, really good because sometimes at the start, it can get a bit hectic and uh, you can, you know, start to tussle with people and maybe spin out and stuff like that. So I'm going to take it, not easy, but just be a bit more controlled at the start and then um, try and pick my way through right at the, at the halfway point and hopefully come through and maybe get a top six would be great. So the weather today is really, really nice. It's not like a Saturday where it was just awful and changing all the time no hail today i don't think so that'd be nice proper dry session so we know what setup to do and everything like that we're really quick in the dry like so p1 in um in testing on thursday so that should be really good for us and as long as we get a good start and we can pick the guys off in front of us it should be really nice